Mark, a rare home game. Must be a bit, bit of a pleasure for you after so many away games recently. Yeah, we've been on the road for a while, so it's good to get back to the new lawn and hopefully we can put on a good performance for our fans and, and keep the pressure on at the top of the table. Because arguably in some ways there's less pressure when you go away from home, but you've got a bit of momentum back recently, haven't you? Yeah, we've had a little bit of a run, one defeat in eight, I think it is. So we uh, we need to keep going. Like I say, keep, keep the momentum, keep the pressure up. And, uh, looking forward to it. You signed Jake Gosling on loan from Bristol Rovers earlier this week. How has he settled in so far? Fine. Exactly what I thought he would be. A clever footballer. Can go both ways. Two-footed. So I'll definitely add to, to what we've got. And presumably in contention to go straight in on Saturday. Yeah, for certain. Like I said, we've had a couple of good results. So we have uh, that little bit of momentum going. And, um, but he'll definitely be involved. Do you expect any more ins and outs before the weekend? Possibly, you know, it's uh, so we're always looking. You know, we've, we've probably got five or six players that are surplus to, to requirements, so probably more outs than ins. And obviously, Sam Wedgbury back fit, having missed most of the season so far, been recovering from injury. Is that almost like a new signing for you? I think Wedge needs probably a block of games where he can really go and play and, and get some f real match fitness. He's been out a long time. So, whether, whether we look at sending him somewhere for a month on loan to get him really fit um, or, or we keep him in house it's uh, we'll, we'll have to see but I suppose the key to him is keeping him fit isn't it because you know match fitness and you know, free from injury are two different things aren't they that's right he's been out for nine, nine months he's got a bad injury so he's, he's naturally a fit fit player and a great attitude so we just want to keep him ticking along nicely what's the latest with Elliot Freer there isn't any. Fair enough. Braintree, uh, what are your thoughts on them? Obviously, lower mid-table, but you know they'll be coming to stifle and frustrate. They've had a good run. The uh, Hakan, Hiret, and the manager's gone in there and done really well. They've, they've they've plotted their course away from the bottom of the table. That's some good results and done really well. So it'll be a tough game. And looking at your training session, you've had great numbers out there. Your physios just standing on the sidelines watching, presumably pretty much injury free. Yeah, well, we obviously need a physio out there always, you know, to make sure you know, in case we get any injuries. But no, we've the players are conditioned enough and well enough now that fingers crossed we're not getting any injuries. And, um, it's good to see them all out there training. And presumably it's just you know, put the pressure on at the top of the table and uh, you know, see what you can make happen. No, listen. If, we can still be there 10 games to go then you know I fancy us you know it's, it's, it's um, three it's probably three teams I think that, that can win it and uh, they're all up in there so all got to play each other all got difficult games to play anything can happen so it's not not done and dusted by any means and looking at Jake who you've brought in obviously he's got that experience of being promoted from this level before yeah and the one above so he's, he's got good experience of that and uh, you know that's what we need.